Hi, I'm here with Lisa Moyer of the Blue Pig Ice Cream Store in Croton on Hudson, and I'm going to let Lisa tell us why she has this, why she's running the store the way that she is um, on a very, very green path. So, Lisa, tell me a little bit about what your mission is with the Blue Pig. Well, as the owner of the Blue Pig, I bought it last year. It had been under ownership for 10 years, and when I came into it, I wanted to see what products they were using, where the sources were coming from, what kind of packaging they were using, because my mission has been for, you know, since I've been an adult, is always to keep the green and the sustainable mission in everything I do. And I've been the chair of the Portland Land Trust in my outside and volunteer life. I've been a social worker, sort of giving back on that level to the community. And when I did this, it just only made sense that whatever I do, I need to make sure that it's with the practices that I believe in. And I noticed that the sources they were getting their milk from were factory farms. They were filled with preservatives and chemicals and shipped from very far away, um, which was not something I was interested in doing when I'm looking at my footprint. So to source fresher milk, milk with no high fructose corn syrup, it's not good for our kids, no stabilizers or egg substitutes, just pure ingredients. Because on this level of cooking, the way you can be green is to make the ingredients be as close to you as possible, as local as possible, and as pure as possible, because you don't want to you know, invest in companies that are making those chemicals out there. So in the food world, you look at your sources, what are you eating? And for me, I had to find, where can I get this milk from? So I sourced the only place I could find, which was Hudson Valley Fresh. It's a local dairy co-op. It's 36 hours from dairy to, from, from pasture to dairy. It's in Kingston, New York, so it's Hudson Valley Cows. It's a really expensive product. It's really delicious. No one in Westchester does it. I'm the only one. It's The costs are about 40% higher than everybody else, but that was something I had to do. As far as the ingredients that then go into the ice cream, fruits, herbs, everything was out of a can before I got this place. So for me, that wasn't an option. So we then... I, um, we can tell you about it later, but we built a roof, top garden, and we are sourcing our own strawberries, our own herbs. I have my own garden at home. My partner has a gardener at his house. Um, we make our own cookies and, and brownies and everything like that. I had to purchase an oven to do that as opposed to buying packaged goods. Um, and it's all in the taste. I think everyone feels it. Everyone's coming. But I also feel good about it because I know I'm giving it the right thing to the customer. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to say something about the fun part of all this, which is the ice cream. It is amazing. It is the most delicious ice cream in the world. Lisa is a true artist. I kid you not. Whenever I have company over from the city or anybody I have to impress, they always bring mm -hmm. or purchase Lisa's ice cream and people just flip out. You have never tasted anything like it in your life, seriously. So it's made with love. And she's an artist because, I mean, no one can make, like, lemon meringue ice cream or coconut fudge ice cream or ice cream that has wine in it or ice cream that has, you know, laced with Sambuca. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. So for all the wonderful reasons that Lisa is doing this, also the taste is just out of this world. All right, so Lisa, I know that you have a lot of new ventures going on this season. Can you tell yeah. us about it? Um, well, our most exciting venture is um, our new ice cream cart, which we purchased a few months ago. Uh, it was a resale. We got it on Craigslist, so we didn't uh, have it made, and we refurbished it. And it is a mobile ice cream truck that we're now bringing to events, like Historic Hudson Valley has us this weekend at their Animals and Acrobats. We're also going to be at Clearwater under their new um, artisan, slow food, local tent with other farmers. Um, and we've gotten a lot of calls from all kinds of Linters Castle, Katona Museum of Art, people that want a high-end product that has exactly what we're talking about. Everyone's really looking for local stuff.